Welcome back, welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, let's fix something tonight, you know. These days we are fixing things overnight due to high levels of, of load shedding. We are facing challenges with the electricity. But that's not uh, an excuse. We should carry on with the repair things, you know. So what we have tonight, we have a 32-inch Telefunken TV. Model TL TLEDD 32FHDB. That's the, the the make of this TV. It's already plugged, and we must have a standby light here. When you try to power on, it's nothing. It's just dead. So we opened already the TV from the from the visual inspection. I can see this capacitor is blown up. That's what I can see. This one, the big cap is also gone. Okay. And I have suspicious also this one. Yeah, this one is also gone. So we have one, two, three, three caps which are gone. But I don't think that's the reason why we don't have standby light. Let's check the input voltage AC. 200, two something. What I'm saying, 197 I don't understand something here Okay Anyway, let's unplug this Or maybe my connector is not properly inserted. Let's test one more time. We must not have one something. We must have two something here. One ninety six. Okay. Yeah, we have big problem here. Yeah, that's the. The behavior of a dead switching power supply, you know. I don't think if we only have problem with the capacitor, that is the cause why we don't have standby light. But let's try to, to fix this one if we can. Let's play with the power supply, you know. I don't want to see the TV. I forgot to put on my 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 gown, you know. My workshop gown. So great apology for that. But let's let's be let's work. Putting on a gown. Let's be pro this time. Okay. So what do we have here? We have the AC. We have the AC AC input here. After that, we have the fuse. We have the, some filter. We have some. Um, some coils to boost the AC voltage. After that, we have the 
the rectifier bridge you can see four diodes after the rectifier bridge you have a big cap so what i want to do i want to check for a few things let's check for short on the rectifier bridge seems to be okay on the big cap it's not shorted here we have this resistor is also blown up let's check the input fuse the fuse seems to be good if this if we have a blown up resistor here what about my switching mosfet is it good zero zero so i have many faults here let's first replace those capacitors first quickly you know that should be a quick job our, our switching mosfet is also shorted but the input fuse is good okay that's not a big deal let's do everything fast here because uh, trust me we have so many jobs tonight and we were racing against time so this job should be done in less than 40 minutes where's the other cape 16 volts 470 okay let's do it it's not hard there's nothing hard here maybe the big cap is, is fully charged you know no it's not let's first deal with the big cap let's do it fast you know you can see our 400 volts capacitor has got a bump on top this capacitor is gone that is our first problem so i do have many boards for space so we just take we are going just to take it from another board and replace it quickly and move to the next problem you know let's call this one problem number one want to see how many problems that this this switching power supply have okay let's do it you know it's not hard nothing hard here so what you have to do how i can do it let's let's do it one by one you know Okay, let's come to the minus. Nothing hard here. I don't see anything hard to replace capacitors. It's nothing hard. Okay. 
Our capacitor is now in place. Our problem number one is solved. Okay. Let's move on to the next cap, the 16 volts capacitor. Let's take it out quickly. That's our problem number two, you know. Let's do it quickly. Let's do it, you know. That's our 16 volts 470 capacitor is gone. Problem number two. Let's try to find to find out quickly if we can find one. 16 volts we are lucky. I just found something. Let's replace that capacitor quickly, you know. Let's check out this capacitor. Okay. Our capacitor is out. Let's let's straighten the pins for the capacitor. Let's go on the Okay. Let's do it, you know. Let's replace the the mark the area on the board that's the minus of the capacitor and the unmarked area is always the plus our capacitor is now in place we are, try, we are racing against time because we have many jobs here. And uh, all those jobs, they are all going to be fixed tonight, you know. We have this capacitor 10 volts, 470, probably is going to the screen called ribbon cable. It's also gone. And we have same capacitor here. Let's replace that capacitor. That's our third problem. That's our third problem. Uh, 
Let's take out the new power capacitor which you want to replace. Okay. Ouch. That's our cable, 10 volts, 470. We are now on the third problem. Let's replace this one. You can see this one with a bump. It's also gone. We need to replace that capacitor quickly, you know. The way how a switching power supply is working on a TV. We have the high voltage 200 something and we have the cord side and on the cord side we have the 5 volts which is always on even if your TV is on is off we must have a standby light from the 5 volts power supply so in this case we don't have 5 volts so yeah i'm sure it's not about capacitors here i don't think so i don't think so So let's replace our our third capacitor, you know. Let's do it, you know. Let's do it. So what I want to see is to see this TV working. One more time. Our capacitor is now in place. That's good. So we just finished replacing our capacitor. What about that blown up resistor? Can we find one here? We have so many boards for space. So that resistor should not be a big problem. Let's check something. Okay. Let's took out that resistor. Maybe. Let's do the dodge way. Let's cut it. Because I don't have time. 
let's come with our resistor on same point from the back and re replace that blown up resistor same color code same same resistor okay let's replace that resistor from the back that's our resistor position Let's do it, you know. We just replace our resistor from the back. Let's take off that blown up resistor. We don't want it anymore. That's the blown up resistor. It's gone. That's the faulty problem. Let's now check our switching MOSFET, you know. Get from drain to source, zero, zero. Our MOSFET is also gone. Let's replace that MOSFET quickly. Let's replace that MOSFET quickly. Let's do it. Let's replace our MOSFET quickly. This one is taking too long. Let's use the other one, you know. We have another what a which can perform this job better in a fast way like what i said time is not on our side so let's see let's check off the atmosphere and check again if we still have short on the board That's our MOSFET. Switching MOSFET on the on the high voltage area. Let's check again for short. It's not shortage. Let's go on our MOSFET. Completely this is gone. I don't even want to see it. Let's try to look for another MOSFET, you know. If you can, yes, I just found one. This one good. Let's take it and replace it quickly. That is our fourth problem. That's our new MOSFET. 
what I want to do I want to 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 put some more solder here that should be fine let's come up with our new MOSFET Okay, our new MOSFET is now in place. So, I want to check further. This does not shorted regulator. That's for regulator for 3.3 and 5 volts. All seems to be good. Let's clean our board a little bit. And after that, I think we'll be ready for testing, you know. Everything seems okay. Our new MOSFET it's not shorted so uh, we are ready to test here we are ready to test so we have uh, 3k plus a uh, plus a switching mosfet what about the our uh, fuse we did we check the fuse on the input we are lucky our fuse is good so i want to put back all together and then we can test need a few screws to hold the motherboard okay, after we can test you know I just want to hold this motherboard and then we can test okay Let me go and sit. Hopefully it's not a disappointment this time. I just hope. Okay. Hopefully it's not a disappointment this time. Let's test our TV. If this is gonna not solve the problem, I'll move on to the next job, you know. Because we have so many jobs, switch on. And we have fire. Okay. Something blown up.
Something just to blown up here. That's good, you know. Let's check. Let's check one more time. I just here a loud spark. What did I do wrong here? I'm trying to figure out something. Not shortage. Minus, minus, okay. is good so what is basically what is what blown up here i don't understand let's plug in this let's put some power you know let's see where what's going on with our voltage Let's play with the test meter. AC 200 and something. Zero. Two thirteen. Okay. On the big cap. Zero. On the input. 223 on the big cap zero okay that's good it's good you know so before the 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 before the big cap we do have a rectifier bridge which i understand 
minus of the capacitor that's this side diode that is the minus our capacitor is good you put it the right way so yeah it's now time to do some tricks you know it's now time to do some tricks let's come with our own rectifier i don't think it's time to give up you know it's not the right time to give up let's check out this rectifier let's take all the dials down and it came with my own rectifier you know probably we don't have a partial short we, have, we do have a partial short there and that is the reason why we can't see the te the short with the test meter. Let's come with our own rectifier. Let's modify this one. From a rectifier of four diodes to our own rectifier, you know. AC, AC output let's do it quickly you know every time every time when i try to to add up things it, things goes the other way around i don't know why i don't know why I always get some some hard jobs, you know. But let's try. Because our rectifier is not it's not it's not outputting anything. So yeah. We can safely say our rectifier bridge is it's not it's not proper. Was is not doing the job which is supposed to do. Let's fix the rectifier thing. I thought this time we are we are going to do it fast, you know. But uh, it's not. It's not like how the way how I, I see things, you know. But uh, let's carry on with the repair. What about dying in action? So it means the, the, the rectifier bridge was not working. The switching MOSFETs, which is the switching, our chopper, was not working. The big cap, I don't know what will happen with this TV. Seems as if everything is gone. We do have some boards for replacement, but uh, I'm not here to replace things. 
actually i'm here to fix things you know so the option of replacement is the last 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 option so let's do it quickly modifying things there's nothing bad that's our rectifier you can see that's our rectifier we just took out all those four diodes and uh, let's let's see let's put our rectifier in place we do have a the high voltage thing that's the ac maybe we are going to see some spark again Okay, minus, minus here, straight on that big cap, no, that's the plus, the plus this side, and minus this side, Oh good. So our rectifier is now in place. But uh, you know what? I'm I'm now uh, afraid of the big bomb, you know. I'm now afraid of that. But uh, let be let me be a brave man this time you know let me be brave just for this time only in the chest maybe just maybe okay all the cables are in place let's put the our ac in Hopefully, I'm not going to see any spark here. Hopefully. No standby light. Let's check voltage on the big cap. Okay. Let's check the voltage.
zero 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 Input three thirteen. No stand by light. Okay. Yeah, that's a challenge tonight, you know. Five volts stand by. Let's unplug this. Let's go straight on the five volts stand by test point and check for short to ground. And we don't have any short to ground. Let's sort a wire there and supply five volts with our power supply and see if that that can give us something, you know. Straight on the five volts, stand by. I just pray to get some easy job in the future, you know. Every time when I open a device, whether it's a laptop or... A... Whether it's a laptop or a, or a TV... Yeah, I'm getting pretty damaged boards, you know. Pretty damaged boards. Let's plug in this. Our uh, AC is plugged. Let's check for voltage on the big cable. 300 something. 314. Let's come with our power supply. And see what's going on with our standby voltage, you know. Do you have a standby light? On. Nothing on screen. I don't understand some of the things, you know. Why things they are always hard to that extent? I don't understand. Let's let's supply voltage one more time. We do have the red light on. Our TV is now on. But no light. Any voltage? <laughs> 
what I want to see, I want to see if we do have a picture on the screen, you know. Let me first disconnect this and do something proper here. I don't know why things are hard at this place. I don't even know why. Because mostly if you see some capacitor, there's nothing more. But this time it's not it's not the case so how are I gonna do it here because I want to see what's going on with this board you know do you have any writing or not Let's put it like this. Let's let's supply five volts. My probes are too short. Let's use another power supply. And supply five volts there. Five points. Let's plug this one. Okay. How oh, I can do it? I need the torch. You can see the red light on. Telefunken, you can see. We have the telefunken. Okay, that's a good sign. So, <laughs> yeah, that's that's a, a trick repair. That's a trick repair. Everything is messed up on this TV. Let's do something. We don't have anything on the backlights. I just seen the 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 sign. Our capacitor is too charged. So even on the side of the backlights, we have a problem. But let. Let's fight, you know. Let's fight for success here. Let's fight. On. Our TV is now on. And nothing. No, like no voltage at all. Let's check this switching MOSFET on the backlight circuit. Seems to be good. So what I would do here? I'm going to modify things, you know. Yeah, this video is going to be very long. But uh, I don't have option. 
Let's look for another board, you know. Another board. Do some few tricks here. Some tricks here. Yeah, that's that's quite a hard night, but I don't have option. I don't have option because after all. Was this job to be done? Let's modify a lot of things here. Because if the backlight circuit is not working, it's not working. For some reasons which you don't know let's see if this board is a good one standby light power can turn on this one so can we get another body yeah it's not an easy night actually some modification you know need to do some few modification to bring this TV to life This one is zero. We still have few boards to test, you know. What about this? We do have light. We just want a board that is that is gonna this power on this on. You can see we now have the light. Let's go straight on the output of the backlight and check for some power, you know. To 
22 volts okay let's put this aside let's connect here we want to see the exact voltage that you need you want to bring back the 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 back lights you know let's leave this here let's power on the tv our tv is now on let's play with the power supply and see if twenty two volts let's lower the current two point two amps two point four ground let's come with plus Okay. Third. 25 volts. 26. Yeah, everything is messed up on this TV. Everything is messed up. So, do you have this board? What am I going to do here? Everything is messed up on this board. Everything. But let's do this challenge, you know. I need two wires. Let's let's join this board together. I see. Let's fix this. Okay. Let's let's join this here. You need more soda. How come this TV everything died? Everything five volts power supply is missing. Everything is missing. Yeah. I 
want to do this I want to take this for the back lights and put it on the other board just to have lights you know if that gonna work we'll find a way to stick everything with hot glue let's see let's put some power Let's power on this. Uh, okay. Let's supply five volts. Let's power on this. Let's power on the main board. And then let's power on this second one. For the backlights. The one for the brake light is not turning on. Why? On. I do have some lights, but uh, how can I do it just to see if I now have a working TV? How can I do it? Because I need to see if no signal. So our TV is working. Okay. Let's take this out. So the only problem. We don't have a standby voltage, which is 5 volts. So, we need to do some few modification again. I'll show you after all these modifications. Let's take out charger, you know. Cell phone charger and use it as a regulator. Okay, and use that one as a regulator. So, I'm going to use this charger as a regulator to supply 5 volts. So, I'll, I'll stop this video now for some slightly disturbance. And uh, soon after, we are going to continue this repair. See you on the second part. Bye.